Hi uh, YouTubers, today we'll be discussing the ports and pins and some settings on Mark 3. Okay, first we will have a look at the uh, R&R controller. The top row of pins are predominantly the outputs for the uh, access controls being the X, Y, Z and uh, the A axis and all of the connectors on the left hand side of the control board are predominantly your input and output pins uh, as labeled there the IN1, IN2, IN3 and IN4 uh, those are the input pins out1, out2, out3 and out4 are the output pins of this control board which will be referred to in the Mark 3 ports and pins setup. Okay, yes, our motor outputs. I personally use for my machine. These will differ according to your machine's mechanical setup and possibly uh, electrical or wiring setup. The R and R controller, unlike the parallel port, the port is set to zero on some of the inputs and outputs. The direction low active or high active um, if you have an access on your machine and it is traveling in the incorrect direction you could simply change the status of this and it would make the access turn in the opposite direction or you could physically change the wiring step active low also depending on how you have wired the driver um, if you are supplying in some cases a permanent 5 volt and switching the ground or if you're supplying a permanent ground and switching the 5 volt these would either be enabled or disabled depending on your hardware setup on the, the inputs being IN1, IN2, IN3 and IN4 on the Mach controller the on my particular setup again guys please um, this is not casting concrete this is all based on uh, what you want from the machine and what you expect from the machine and how it's been set up um, again these are the settings I use for my personal machine um, the X home Y home Z home all work off of pin number one you can see the port is on number three the device chip firmware has uh, been designed around port three for some reason but as you can see it is enabled these are set to one but disabled so they're not in use okay so we enabled home X Y and Z this has to be on 3 in order to make it work we are using pin 1 for those particular ones they are all tied together in a parallel method when the machine is homing it knows which axis it's moving and it waits for the limit switch to be triggered so it's not a critical issue and it works perfectly like that um, let me move down with this the other one we are using is the Z probe port 3 pin 3 
enabled my e-stop we are using pin number two and my input pin number four has got no allocation at this point okay output pins output pins are obviously used for switching on and off spindles lasers um, you could use it to switch on in my instance I use it to switch on the vacuum or dust extraction and I use it to switch on my my air pump which I've recently incorporated into my machine when we're busy doing laser so obviously vacuum works with spindle to do dust extraction and the air pump I utilize that for uh, laser assistance and as you can see output 1 is again on port 3 mechanical or electronic assignment within the R&R &R controller output 1, pin 1, output 2, pin 2, 3 and 3, 4 and 4 if you happen to change these pins uh, output 1 in the software could be pin number 2 on the software side of things it will work fine I've just left them in order just for simplicity because we can change them um, in other places the MPG or encoders and MPGs I'm not using any of this on my machine spindle setup again okay this is what refers to my machine clockwise M3 or M03 is output to pin 1 output to pin 1 my anti or counterclockwise M04 output 2 output 2 pin 2 is which I use to trigger the relay for my laser the mist I have relabeled or reassigned the mist MO7 to switch my vacuum on which is on output number 3 output number 4 which is M08 I have lay relabeled that to be the air assist on the Mark 3 I shall display that in a second um, so these are my four outputs which I use 1, 2, 3 and 4 you could have this in any order depending on how you have wired your machine and it will work um, exactly the way expected so on the Mach 4 Mach 3 sorry you can see vacuum and air mist the vacuum is my MO7 and air mist is M08 or M08 spindle on this side here M03 or M03 to switch the spindle on M04 is to switch the laser on the spindle which I use is a um, palm router which has a single direction and that's why I opted to use the counterclockwise operation um, to my advantage for switching the laser on and off I think that pretty much covers the ports and pins within Mach 3 uh, we can have a look at the general config ok 
Okay, let's have a look at the general configuration. Okay, this is my general configuration screen of Mark 3. I'm not going to go through all the individual options here. Um, I'll just go through a couple of those which was important for the use on my machine. One of the things is tool change. Um, in the Mach 3 I have a manual tool change operation. So if I'm doing um, some work with a spindle and I'm using different uh, tooling or bits, uh, the machine will move to a position where I can manually change my my bits. I do not have a physical auto tool changer so it's a manual operation um, but it saves the aggravation of having different g-code files for each um, tool that's got to be run. Okay, One of the other things we did changes on was the jog increments. We just customized this. I think Mark 3 comes out with a standard set in inches. I use metric so I've just customized those for my own personal criteria. I will leave a, um, a link to the XML file which I use in my setup. Okay, I think this uh, video was relatively short. Um, I'm not sure if we have covered all the necessary uh, information. Um, if there's anything else, uh, please hit me up in the comments and we'd be uh, glad to uh, do a follow-up video if necessary.